Hey everybody, this is Rocky. I'm here with my friends from FaveDiets.com and today we're going to be making some salmon burgers. High in omega-3 and protein and this is going to be the perfect substitute for hamburgers. So let's get started. I just emptied um, a can of pink salmon into my bowl. I'm going to go ahead and about about a quarter cup of uh, diced onion, maybe a little bit more than a quarter cup. I'm going to add, instead of uh, the typical breadcrumbs that one might use, I'm going to go ahead and add a quarter cup of wheat germ. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of dried parsley, and you can most def definitely use fresh parsley for this, but I'm just using what I have on hand. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of dried basil and then a couple of pinches of uh, chili pepper flakes. Totally optional. Now I'm going to add um, the equivalent of two eggs. I'm going to use about a half a cup of egg beaters. Now I'm just going to mix this together. This should make about six burgers. So you just want to make sure that you measure them out nicely uh, and then pack them firmly. I have my skillet heating uh, with some olive oil. Go ahead and place my burgers down. So I just flipped them, they're about eight minutes on the other side and just let them cook on this side until they get nice and golden brown. Here we go. Mm. These came out really good. Just the right amount of seasoning. Mm. Now you can squeeze a little bit of lemon down on this and the fact that we use wheat germ goes a long way as far as nutritional value um, and it's just a nice substitute for breadcrumbs. I've used it in quite a few recipes uh, in place of breadcrumbs and also I've used it um, in place of like graham cracker crust um, in one of my cheesecake uh, videos. So it's definitely a good substitution so check that out. This is just a nice light meal to have um, as a substitute for you know a hamburger or a turkey burger. You can put this on a bun or you could just eat this as is, as is with, a, with uh, some lettuce as a salad. Definitely a nice, light, healthy, delicious meal. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and post them below. Um, the nutritional facts, the full recipe and pictures will be on my blog spot, which I'll also post below. Until next time, enjoy. Bye.